How many people came to uh, uh, hear, hear, the, hear the Growing Five Brothers Sound Loud Student Set? Be honest, come on, come on, put your hands up. Y'all, like, come on, man, stop that. Put your hands all the way up, man. All right. All right, brother. Uh, uh, at this time, I would like for y'all to stand and give this brother a, a, a warm welcome coming from Detroit, Michigan, the General of the Black Power Cocktail, Brother Sidron Suit Set. Let's move this out the way, fam. Right, I need all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me out. This is my third, my third trip to D.C. I've only been to one other city that many times, and that's New York. D.C. showed up for me. Cincinnati showed up for me. St. Louis showed up for me. Today we're going to be dealing with the black woman is God. For a lot of people, I, I heard on the blog talk, the niggas came out, started doing little blog talk radio shows already. Why the black woman is not God? Half of the niggas is factors. All right. Knowledge. See, you got to be born first to even obtain knowledge. So the, the, your, your mama gave birth to you before you had got any knowledge. Can you a Christian, a goddamn Muslim, a Jew, a Rosicrucian, or whatever? You got that shit after you was born. All right? So that fact alone, the black woman is God. Anybody in here ain't got a neighbor? Anybody in here got a neighbor? Ain't got a neighbor. Then that, that fact alone show you that you was connected to your mother. Anybody in here was, you know, I ain't going to go too wrong with the father. You see, mama's baby, papa, maybe. We watched Marvin Povich. You know what I'm saying? Woman come up there and say, ten men is the daddy. Ain't one of them the daddy. See, you gonna trace. That's how you trace your lineage. For all you Muslims, all you Christians, all you Jews. I, I, I could have went into the Quran today, the Bible today. Many of you know it. In the Bible, it said that a woman can't even open up her mouth in the church. Say it ain't so. It's in the damn Bible. Say she got. She wanna ask her, her husband anything. Wait till she get home. Is it not in the Bible? Do I gotta go in there and get it for you? Huh? And we know how Islam treat they women. Now, it's going to be some sympathetic niggas that come in here and try to save it. I had the opportunity to go to Kimmy with Ash Rock Quasi, Mary Rock Quasi. This is day 30 of year. We should give them a round of applause. Shout yeah. out. 30 years. On the front line, taking our people home. You know? And so I, I have to give that shout out to my, my queen, Sister Mary Rock Quasi. Because she was always looking out for me. You understand what I'm saying? Even when Bobby was putting the heat on me. <laughs> you know, Sister Mary Robin, you know, she showed me love. So I'm going to dedicate this lecture to her. You know, in her 30, in their 30 years of going back to Kenya. The black woman is God. But we went into the tombs and in the temples. We look up in the ceiling. And the ceiling is a representation of the goddess new. With the stars in her body. And you can see her even at Dendorah, at the Temple of Hathor, headed root. You can see her, the rock, going up into her mouth, traveling 12 hours through her body to be born the next day through her womb. The black woman is God. See, y'all can't be scared to, to step up and represent your ancestors. You understand what I'm saying? These niggas out here try to put pressure on us not to accept that because they're getting paid. They're getting paid off of all these goddamn religions. Okay, which one it is? I'm not, I'm not singling out nobody. I'm not leaving nobody out. All these goddamn religions. You need to give it up. It ain't doing nothing for us at all. Right now today, we are in the worst goddamn condition that we ever been in. But everybody got the goddamn truth. How can that be? We was riding around D.C., Man, listen here. I'm so sick of these queens walking around with these crackers. Yeah. It don't make no sense. Yeah. It's got to be a movement to stop that shit immediately. Because there ain't no way they're going to respect us as black men and they can walk around here with our women. Go out in their hood. Walk around with their queen. See what they do to your ass. 
Nigga, you might be end up in the trunk down in that goddamn Potomac River some down, or whatever river down there. Right. These crackers do that to our men every damn day. All these killers that go on in the community, they try to blame it on us. It's hit squads out here. These police, it's hit squads. You see what they did to that queen in Detroit? They go tell a goddamn lie. That cracker shot through the damn window, shot her in the top of her head, and it, it lodged in her neck. And they're going to sit up in here and lie and say that they kicked in the damn door and wrestling with a grandmother. You're supposed to be a damn militarily trained police officer. What the hell are you going to wrestle with a grandmother? Shot the baby. You understand? And they're doing this every day. A brother called me and said down in South Carolina that they drug another brother a couple of days ago. Did you hear about it? The queen heard about it. What we going to do? What we going to do? This is so, you know, my thing is, is I'm ratcheting up this move, okay? It ain't about no goddamn lectures. It ain't about no lectures. So if, if we can come in here, every goddamn lecture, all we can do is throw names out of people that have been, been murdered by the goddamn police. That's not stopping nothing. We got to draw a line somewhere. The first place we should draw the line is with our woman and our children. That's why you woman out there with these damn crackers. Because we have not afforded them no protection. Okay? Ever since goddamn slavery, these crackers been doing whatever the hell they want to to our women. Uh, I don't want to keep getting on these brothers. But it's always it comes back to this because they hit on me every time I put a, a lecture out. These goddamn Moors and these goddamn Muslims. I'm so sick of these old sorry ass niggas. If you love a woman, then don't just, just go on and respect. Why well, you gotta do a goddamn blog talk talking about why the black woman ain't God? Then you know what they said? I'm gonna be straight up with you. They said we pussy worshiping. I was listening to it. Somebody put it in my Facebook where the more said, they said we worshiping pussy. That's what they say. I'm just being flat out with you. Well, let me tell you something. I'd rather worship pussy than worship a cracker. A black woman, that on top of it. Let's be real about it. Anything else, I mean, that's respect for your woman and your child. See, they want to lessen it by calling it that. You understand? We respecting our mother. You understand? We respecting our woman. Because if it, not, if it was not for the black woman, we wouldn't have even survived slavery. She, we was locked down. Look, that's why a lot of people don't come out. Because if I see you, then I can call you and see the black man. Seen him before. He know what time it is. Got the queen with him. Representing her. Seen the family here. Got the, the king out here right now. Another king on the, on the scene. My queen back there. Janine, step up. Come up here, baby. The black woman is God. I got twins on the way. Huh? Come on, friend. I know you big. <laughs> Come on up here. And, uh, this is my family, right? Here. I had to slow down, family. I love it, baby. I'm gonna lie. Let me get my notes. I got some key. I got some key things I want to deal with today. First thing for my queen, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Keep these crackers out your room. Keep these crackers out your room. Look, I'm looking. I'm looking at some of y'all eyes. Hey, hey, what's doing? I didn't bust you all happy. Some of you can't take it. I, I, you know, I, I'm a hard nigga. I can look in your eyes. You can't, you can't fool me. You can't call my bluff. We got to keep these crackers. The brothers got to stay off of these old wicked ass, polluted ass cracker women. And the queens got to leave these cracker ass, ghost green demons alone. You weaker than I see. I mean, I mean, simple as that. Simple as that. That's progress. If we could just leave that, that cracker alone. Leave these Arabs alone. Mm. Walking around with everything and what we call spitting in the womb of your mother. Mm. You ain't supposed to come home with nothing that don't look like mama. Yeah. That's disrespect. That's highly disrespectful. And in Africa, your ass would be banished. Why the hell these niggas out here ain't banished? Well, we ain't went back in the day. We used to go honky hunting. We just go looking for crackers. Here's the butt. I know y'all did. 
But that was more the loud, you know, in the eighties and shit. In nineties, now you niggas wanna, you know, you wanna be with the crap, rap with the crap. Eminem, want them all on your track. You know what I'm saying? You wearing skinny jeans now? They wearing skinny jeans out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they is. Skinny, skinny jeans and skinny dreams. Now, I told my brother back in the day, keep them rugged, now. See what I'm saying? That's rugged. Don't be twisting them, <laughs> but it's so damn skinny. You know what I'm saying? For me, for me, keep it rugged looking. You understand what I'm saying? Because the fags is wearing it, okay? That's why I'm saying it. They wearing it. They done took it off. You understand what I'm saying? We got to take it back. Start cracking that goddamn hand. Y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all don't want to hear that. But when they shoot our babies and, sh and drag our men, all you want is to just sit here and act like somebody just told you some information. You say, oh, oh, again, again. But you ain't going to do shit. You ain't going to do nothing. The sisters need to train martial, martial arts. You need to have some martial arts training. I mean basic. I ain't saying you got to be doing no backwards flips and, and kicking niggas from, you know, from two miles away. But you need to have basic training. You know what I'm saying? Because it builds up your confidence to deal with situations, you know, where it might be strenuous. You know, when, when, it's, when it's pressure on you, and if you ain't trained, your ass is going to crack. Okay? That's what happened in Katrina. A lot of people was not trained for that. It didn't have to be like that. Black people could have did better than that. Because, but that, like I said, niggas smoking weed, drinking, tripping, beating all them beats and shit in the trunk. And as soon as that water came down there, niggas, niggas couldn't swim. Learn how to swim. Learn how to swim. You know what I'm saying? As simple as that sound, until that shit come down the street, pouring in these streets, and it's up to the damn porch, then you gonna wish you had done it. You go on YouTube right now. They love us. Okay, don't let the little uh, British nigga that they didn't, you know, they didn't, just like you have a job interview, all these niggas that they let in here, they give them an interview. Oh, you speak, oh, you speak good British. Good French. You've been trained well. We let them kind of niggas over. Haitians, it could be 200 of them in the goddamn water. They'll let them drop. They got a revolutionary bloodline. All right? Why we ain't went to Haiti? Why we ain't went in the islands? We got money. We could have went down there and built with them brothers and sisters down there. They got a lot of land, a lot of resources. We got to have some resources. The money don't mean shit. This shit can drop right now and every goddamn dollar in your pocket wouldn't be worth nothing. You couldn't do nothing but wipe your ass with it. That's it. You got to have resources. That's why we got to have Africa, which is our mother. Black woman is God. That's why when you look up on the walls of the metal nut, you see us, I, I set, the throne. She is the throne. What is the throne? The throne is the lap of your mama. You understand what I'm saying? As a child, you see the children in the lap. You see that? That's what it is. That's the throne. Now how is this young man going to grow up and say he greater than his mama when she cared for him? He not going to do it. But I'm going to say there's a lot of niggas that do do it. That do do it. Come in here with all this goddamn philosophy from a goddamn goat herder. A goddamn goat herder. These niggas walking around with tiles all on their goddamn head, uh, hair all over their damn face. You don't see that shit in Egypt? The, house, the priest in Egypt had to shave three times a day to keep all that fleas and shit out of their skin. This is what you're taking. You're taking information from from our enemies, our oppressors. And these niggas is promoting it today because they got finances in it. They got finances in it. I call them out. A lot of people don't like it. Too goddamn bad. Any goddamn group. More nation of Islam, I don't give a damn if you don't like it or not. Them niggas got crackers in that shit. I, didn't, I, didn't, I, ain't, I ain't too much into attacking my brothers all the time. But if you're wrong, nigga, you're wrong. Don't want nobody to call your ass out like y'all walking around, like y'all floating on the goddamn air and that y'all got all the goddamn knowledge. Then get your ass up out of here. You down in this cesspool just like we is. Been doing this shit too long. I know the young G's. These niggas want power. They want money. 
you got to show them a different way. You can't tell them they can't get pop. How the hell are you going to have a young nigga? All he wants to do is be the king of New York, and you've been on the goddamn corner selling goddamn newspapers and bean pop for 60 damn years. Get the fuck out of here, man. You can't, you can't talk to these young G's like that. You got to show them a greater, a greater vision. We got to create a greater vision for them so the young brothers and young sisters will come on in. They're walking around out here with their head down at the ground because we have not offered them an option. The crackers say, nigga, go die. We ain't giving you no goddamn jobs. The crackers own every goddamn corporation in America. Every one. Name me one of the nigga own. One corporation. Our way. Companies. Our way. One corporate. Huh? RLJ Companies. Oh, that's a black owned corporation? corporation? Good. All right. Is it somewhere down the line you got to deal with a white man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. It's a start, though. I ain't knocking it. But if the cracker is on it, if you got to deal with the cracker, Crocker ain't taking the crumbs. You can be, you better believe that. He's not going to take the crumbs. In Africa, they raping Africa's man to the point these crackers can bust a goddamn hole in the earth. If y'all don't stop these crackers, we ain't going to have shit left. We ain't going to have shit. You can see. But did y'all see at the same time that goddamn volcano went off up there around Europe, they couldn't even fly over goddamn Europe for a minute. That was, you can't see the, 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 the cause and effect. They done bust the goddamn hole, and so the earth is, it, it have to open up with the, with the, the uh, eruptions to, to cause the pressure to go down that's happening on this earth. Everything has a cause and effect. Just like when you see a lot of these gears and these cars, it's based off of the tectonic plate of under this earth. A lot of these continents are on tectonic plate. The oil, just like you put oil in your car, it keeps it lubricated. So it can, it, you know, it's, it's a smooth rotation. So they sucking the goddamn oil up out the ground, and that's what's causing all these earthquakes. I said it, I, I came out on hate. Niggas say, said he just, he just created shit. Well, I blame, I blame everything on the white man. God damn it, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't a cracker. Now niggas don't even want to blame the, the white man. Only thing I blame our people for is not kicking his ass for doing it. Y'all love the white man. See, when you when see he got us in a dilemma when he got to sign our checks. And when you when he gotta sign your goddamn check, it's hard for you to go in there and bang on that beat. You got to come up off the titty of the white man. You got to start thinking of so sometimes one can't do it. It takes two, three minds to come together, man. We got to start families, man, where we give up the it, this could be a family. We just say, fuck it. Everybody in here drop their name, take one name. This family in here, and this is a house. And every queen in here belongs to this house. Even if she ain't got no man. A lot of people don't understand that. Every queen should belong to a house. In Africa, it had to be that way. No woman could be without a house. You understand what I'm saying? Now you got queens, and that's why they're out there with them pepper woods. And a lot of the queens, and you know, they don't understand what that means to be in a house together. They think that we all laying up in the damn bed. We're trying to goddamn survive. You don't want to. I look at how smile. I see you smile. <laughs> she can't deal with it. <laughs> she can't deal. I know. It's, 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 it's hard. But we're going to have to deal with it one way or another. Why do we do that? So that there should be no excuse for a black woman to have any other man than a black man. You know, our, all our damn brothers is in the damn penitentiary. They're not there for no reason. We want to blame it on them. Why is they? Because it's their goddamn army. If they was out here on the goddamn street, they'd be killing crackers. But you have to get them off the goddamn street. Africa has reached a billion people. It was in the news. Not too long ago. It was already a billion. Uh, when you got a billion goddamn people, why would you be walking around with your damn head down, scared to fuck somebody up? When you talk about China, you'll never hear, 
You, you hear somebody messing with China, them numbers already always come up. Man, y'all fucking with them? You know what I'm saying? There are two billion people? Man, we are all over the damn planet. We are more in more locations than any people on this planet. We in Africa, we in Asia, we in Europe, we in North and South America. The Chinese is basically in China. The majority of Chinese is in China. They are not across this, this, this planet like we are. So if we got that many goddamn, if it's a billion in Africa, it's at least a billion outside of Africa. At least. It could be at least three billion Africans on this planet. More than that. And we don't even know. You understand what I'm saying? So like I said, you see the census that they got going around? But for every nigga talking about me, there's five niggas in the basement with a warrant. They ain't coming up. That ain't coming up. I know I didn't sign up for this shit. Anybody else? I know if you did, I know it ain't. I, mean, I ain't mad at you. But everybody got a social security number. They know how many people here. They're trying to locate niggas. That's all they're trying to do. Where's these niggas at? You know what I'm saying? Because we, we're a threat to them. You know what I'm saying? We're a threat to these people. So they're using all this shit as a means to locate our brothers and sisters. Some people even telling on their own brother, yeah, he's down. God damn, man, what's wrong with you? Quit snitching. Quit snitching. All this shit that's going on, the cracker would have to do his own goddamn job. Y'all won't even let the cracker do his own goddamn job because you too busy doing it. Snitching and telling on your own goddamn brother. If a nigga need to be dealt with, we can deal with it. We can deal with it. It's a means to do everything and anything that we want to do. But this year, it got to be a change. We can't come back here next year, and, I, and we and we in the same predicament, you know. So we're talking about going home and, and, and talking to some of our family over there. You take a trip, I'm thinking about going to Rwanda. I'm thinking about going over there to talk to Mugabe. You know, they say they didn't devalue the, the, the economy over there, so goddamn what? They got resources. They got resources. The cargo. One, if not the most minerally rich area on the planet, the Congo. This is why they killed Patrice Lumumba. We won't deal with that. We got to have Africa. Ain't no way we can survive without Africa. No way. We got to have the resources. The money is nothing. The money, I, I can't wait to hurry up and get out there and get rid of it. The best way I can to buy something that's tangible that we can hold on to. Whether, it, whether, it's, it, whether it's guns, whether it's ammunition, machetes. You see how people get down in Africa? All I ask in here combined. I know it's a few in, of us that know something. Teacher, teacher. But we got to at least accept the fact that we is in, the, in this dilemma. So we got to learn what's going on outside. Can you live outside? If these goddamn lights go out, it's hot in this shit. You got to come up out of here. How do you keep cool? The babies is burning up. What are you going to do for them? They hungry. They drinking. You can't even feed your goddamn self. You lacking that knowledge. That basic knowledge that our, our family in Africa would have took us. Every man, every woman, young man, young woman had to go through a rite of passage. That must be established again. You can't expect these, these, these young men to grow up and be men. They got to be trained to be men. But how are they going to be trained to be men? Ain't no goddamn men in the community. So we got to stop this shit somewhere, somehow. We should gather the minds in here. Start a rites of passage. Right. This goddamn summer. I know it's hard. I know it some of y'all been thinking about it. Then pop it up. Maybe if I put some fire under your ass, that might be the initiative you need to get it moving. You understand what I'm saying? You got to think, what do we need to know? And then you start right now today, go home, Google, stay out of that goddamn mystery shit that be on YouTube. Niggas flying all through the goddamn air. You understand what I'm saying? It's talking about they've been to Mars. Half you niggas ain't got bus fare to get down the goddamn street. The hell, you've been to Mars. See, we, we, we flown too goddamn much. That's them niggas. You know why they mess with that? Because they scared. They're not prepared. The art of war say you act that way when you are not prepared. If you've been working out, 
You've been lifting them weights, you've been hitting that bag, you've been training. If a nigga say, what's up? You say, nigga, what's up? I oh, don't nigga. Really, do you really want to get down like this? But if you weak, and this nigga look <laughs> you go fall back. You know what I'm saying? One thing come up here and beast on everybody. That's what happened. That comes from not being prepared. Even when you're doing a test, you have to study. You have to study that information. And if you feel, and when you come to the test day, you feel strong. You take the test, you get the A, but you have not prepared yourself. And so that's what Marcus Garvey said. He said that the watchword of today was preparation. The queens are going to have to prepare. If you watch Rosewood, you see the brothers had to do, the brother went one way, the queens went the other way. They had to look, he had the little young soldiers, put him in charge, lead them through the swamps. So that's a, a total different operation. If we have to get down, the men don't have to hold the fort. We, we don't have to keep the battle here so they can get away. You understand what I'm saying? We're going to have to have the battle here and tell them to go down. So they're going to need to know how to get up out of here. You got, to get, you got to know this because most of these cities have already been designed for the military to come right in and take it over. That's how they design cities today. This shit right here, I mean, uh, we've been riding around here for the longest, and we can see it's a damn trap. New York is a damn trap. Detroit is a damn trap. Okay? All of these cities are designed for them to roll right on in and take that shit on and be sieged. Why y'all think all these goddamn freeways is around here? They're going to put your ass down on the damn freeway. They're going to line y'all ass right. That's what they did in Katrina. Did y'all see them on the freeway? Y'all, okay then. Why would I tell you a lie? I wouldn't tell you no lie. You seen that? I mean, they was dying right there on the goddamn, on the freeway. It was so damn hot. What are you going to do? You got to learn how to, you know, we got to learn these things. Because I would hate, because we are just as vulnerable as New Orleans during Katrina today as we were then. Any goddamn city. What is y'all, what is more likely to happen here? What is more as far as natural disaster? Or if they roll in here, more likely, which way is they come? And how they come? You understand? You know they're going to knock the lights out. You got to operate without the lights on sometimes. Everybody always got to have to turn the goddamn lights out. I mean, my, I used to stay with my great grandmother. She would make sure to turn the lights out. We would just sit up. You know, we wouldn't even be asleep. We'd be in the living room. The, the, the windows would be open and the moon would be shining, and we'd just be talking. You know what I'm saying? Turn that shit out sometime. You can't even something. I get, I catch myself falling asleep with the damn TV on. You know, I can't even. I wake up at five o'clock and still be on, and I won't even turn it off. I need to just take the damn throw it out the goddamn window because I'm addicted. Think that I'm addicted. I guess I am addicted. You know, let me quit lying. Say, you know, there it is. You got to accept the fact. You know, we can't do without the goddamn white man. Okay? We cannot do without him. So now, if this Arab is your enemy and he owns all these stores, what's going to happen if these lights go out? You know what they're going to do? Just like they did in Detroit, they up the prices immediately. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn bottle of water might be a dollar. Shit, they might up it to three dollars. $4. You ain't got no money. You got all your money in the ATM. The lights go out. How you get your money out? How you get your money out? Huh? This is the, the dilemmas that we are in. And so the thing is, is that we is coming out today because we are rationing up our movement. We're trying to go home. Everybody ain't got to go home. Everybody ain't got... It could be family that want to run the, the, the operation here. The same damn operation that they brought us over here with, with the triangular from, North, from Europe, Africa, to North America, we're going to use that same operation. But this time, instead of it leaving here, it's going to leave back home. And then we can gradually get our people to going home, to talking with Africa, seeing that Africa is a paradise. Man, shit, I did. I cried when I got ready to come home. When I came back from Egypt, man, I did not want to come back here at all. But I knew my family was here. If I could have stayed, I would have stayed. It's a whole different environment. And that's why they want to keep you from Africa. They want to talk, talk to you about some goddamn Mecca and some goddamn Jerusalem, goddamn goat pastures. 
Them goddamn Arabs and goddamn crackers over there can't even feed they goddamn self. No goddamn resources in Israel and no goddamn Arabia. They lied to you. And they all in Africa living like kings. Africa got the most beautiful areas on this planet. When you get there, it's a utopia. It loves you into a deep sense of being home, being comforted. You come back here as soon as I I, I, I seen the where it's, where it just the, I seen the sign say Detroit 100 miles my whole goddamn demeanor changed you know what I'm saying I hate to say it man I love Detroit it's something about Detroit man and I'm just saying because it's a brutal city yep. if you ain't ready to, to go there and be and, and be a hard rock don't even bring your ass up there because you will be nothing but fish food okay as soon as I as soon as it's like as soon as I cross the line, the limit, the city limit, it's like my whole demeanor change. It, this is what it does to us over here. It has put us in a sense of shell shock that we just come back up and do the same shit every day. Every, where's the drums beating on the streets? You know what I'm saying? Them drums change us. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, it's like it keeps us balanced and, 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 and a, in a sense of harmony. We don't beat the drums. That, that's the key element of our culture. Is the goddamn drum? Where the drums at? Where the brothers and sisters that used to be on the corner? Nigga, they don't even want niggas on the corners no more. They'll roll right on up and bust your goddamn head. Tell your nigga, if I catch you out here, nigga, we locking your ass up. You can't even stand on the corner. That's what we used to go and build. That was, that, that's what keep the fags off the streets. That's what keep the uh, lesbians off the streets. That's what keep up when the hard rock used to go out on the corners. You got 20, 30 niggas, you ain't going up that street. Ain't no fag niggas, because we jump in your ass. Ain't no crackers going, and, and we, we hard rocks on the block like that. Y'all niggas don't even want to go. Y'all in the house playing the tent, y'all. 30 years old, 40 years old, 50 years old. Go ahead and take your ass out on the block. Nigga, get that shit up. Get that shit up, man. I know a player, you know, I ain't saying... You know, you, we, we put our little time in with it. But I'm, I, I'm asking you, what is you doing for liberation? What is you doing for liberation? To the brothers, y'all got to y'all gotta do them push-ups, man. Y'all got to hit them goddamn weights. Y'all got to hit them weights, get strong. My, my crackers coming up and they see all the stand up like, nigga, what? Crackers going right up out of there. Back up. Back up. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to, but if they know you're weak, and know you're high, you can't fight high. I know you believe you can. <laughs> you gonna get your ass whooped. <laughs> you gonna get your ass whooped. Man, I, I was lifted. I was, you know, I done, I done been lifting. I been drunk. And I done been in a fight. I was strong, but I was high. And my wind came out. <laughs> I'm just telling you. You can be strong, you can be lifted, but when you put that shit in your body, you lose your endurance. You lose your stamina and shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't believe that you can do it. You know, even though we, I know we say that it, it opens up our third eye. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. It don't open up your third eye. <laughs> what I'm going to show you today, I ain't going to show you too many because I wanted to talk straightforward with family. And everybody come out for the damn lap, you know, the slides. Yeah. You know, and, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be in uh, New York in August. And so, y'all know what time it is. <laughs> we be there, don't worry. I'm gonna, uh, believe me. You, either you rolling with us or you're not rolling with us. But after I come out of New York, it'll be official. It'll be official that this is the movement of this era. Don't give a damn what you're talking about and what other shit you in. That It's a wrap. Okay? We'll be in Memphis in August. We're on our way to L.A. Okay? We're on our way down to North Carolina. They're calling us in. People's are tired, man. People want a way out. Right here. See, this is the temple of uh, Nefertari, the temple of Aset at, at Abu Simbel. This is the first time in history where a woman was adorned with a temple like that. This only takes place in the Nile Valley. It don't... Name me one of Islam. That just oh, right off the top of your head. Come on. Christianity. Huh? Judaism. Any, 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 can anybody tell? This is what I'm saying. For the black woman, this is it. This is where you was adorned 
and on the highest pedestal, plateau. This is where the black woman was gone, in Africa. You come up out of Africa, see, the white man, when you're thinking about the white man, you got to look what area he come from. See, he comes up out of that goddamn Nordic, that ice. Yeah. See what I'm saying? And you got to imagine, just imagine. See, it ain't got no lights. The only thing they got is them little flames, them torches that they hold it. And when they out there in that wilderness, that shit is black. And you can hear them wolves out there in the dark. You can hear them breathing. They hungry. The only thing that's going to save them crackers was them dogs. And that's why the dog became more of a companion to the white man than his own woman. God damn it. If, they, if, she, if she fell back too far, he let her fall back. And let them go and have a goddamn meal and keep pushing. You understand what I'm saying? And so this is the psyche that went into Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. That's why they ain't got no woman God. They are faggot goddamn religion. The hell, Allah, Jesus, the Father, God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Ain't no goddamn woman. I thought the Father was a spirit. I thought he was a spirit. Ain't, fa ain't, ain't God the Father spirit? Ain't he holy? Then he's a holy spirit. What the hell you need another holy spirit for? What happened to the goddamn woman in the religion? He don't need no woman. Because he's too busy fucking himself in the ass. I'm going to say it just like that. I know a lot of y'all, you know, you twist a little bit because you might know a little homosexual. You might know a little homosexual. There's a lot of people out here keeping homosexual friends. Shame on you. Shame on you. The hell you keeping friends with a goddamn butt fucker. <laughs> Shit on your dick. Poison all up in your, in your penis. And I'm saying it for what it is. You, you got an open hole on your penis and you're going to go up in some man or woman ass and it's, it, it, it's for the disposal of poison. And you know it's causing all the herpes and syphilis and diseases taking us up under. We got to fight that. Homosexuality, we got to fight that. Headstrong. Whoop they ass. Drag them on in the alley. Beat the shit out of them. I'm, I'm telling you what it takes. I'm telling you what it takes. They raping your babies. See them, in, see them in Haiti? Huh? That's the ones that got busted. They've been doing that shit. Well, they're doing it right here in D.C. Can you, can you adopt a white, a white baby? Can any of y'all go in there and adopt a white baby? You got Sandra Bullock with her old, her, her husband and cheated on her and did her all kind of nasty way. And then she gonna go buy, buy a black baby. All on it. I mean, it's, it's disgraceful to our race. It's, dis, it's disgraceful to our whole race worldwide to let these peck of wood sit up here with our babies. What is we gonna do about it? First things first, is we got to get stronger households. But then the cracker is locking up the men. It's a dilemma of the ages. You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to see that cracker. You know what? And I'm telling y'all, y'all, you don't know. When we get down, them crackers is not ready to deal with us if we unify. If we unify and black, and, and listen here, if Africa is going to ride with us. I'm telling you, y'all don't hear that. They is going to ride with us, man. I'm telling you what I, we didn't talk to the brothers and sisters on the ground. It's revolutionary. You think they're going to get a, uh, 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 you know, you think they're going to be on TV talking about we, we down with you? They ain't going to get them no goddamn media play. Just like we ain't going to get no damn media play. You got to go over there and put your boots on the ground. Go over there and talk to your brother and sister. It's, I know it's a, a, a situation that happened between us and them, where you know it might have been a few that was a possible it was a possibility that they may have had something to do with our enslavement. It, it, it was a few. It was a few, just like it's a few dirty ass niggas running around out here. Can't blame the whole goddamn race for it. Right, right, right. And a lot of them just won't say what it was. When they quit, they quit to say African, so African. But they just won't tell y'all they were Islamized Africans. Right. Won't tell you that. Right. They to, to take the pressure off of the Arab slave master. Who the, who the hell you think the goddamn air slave trade was going on a thousand goddamn years before the Europeans? Well, you think the goddamn 
the, uh, the, the inland, inland roads was created. The Arab had already created them. Long time ago. And so we're not going to let up off of y'all. you got to get the hell up out of Africa. And if you love Islam so much that you cannot unify with Africans for the best benefit of Africa, we off with your goddamn head. Don't give a damn about no damn religion, no goddamn books. That shit is over with. We was, in the, we was on the continent of Africa before the books. So you can't just use, you know, we, a lot of people need references. Where the references? Nick, shut up. <laughs> I'm give you a thousand goddamn references, you still ain't gonna do shit with them. That's right. We was in the, the land is ours. We was on the land before the book. We don't need no goddamn references. It's our will to put down what we say is African law and custom, and we're gonna ride with it. Either you're gonna ride or you're not gonna ride. And I know what y'all are going to do. Y'all are going to see the young, vibrant African community. We're going to be selling across the world. And you, as soon as you see them boats getting ready to take off, your ass is going to get to cry. Please. Please don't change my mind, nigga. Too bad. Too bad. We, we put the call out. You, we put the call out. We putting the call out now. Every child should, African child should know at least one African language. At least one African language. You gotta go home, you gotta talk. You gotta be able to communicate. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them over there, they're speaking, some of them speaking English, some of them speaking French, some of them speaking Swahili. And Swahili is not a, a, a traditional African language. I know a lot of people, Jambo, and I understand, it's a trade language. It got some, it got some Arabic in it, it got some French in it, it got a whole lot of, it's a mixture for them to be able to trade. We need to know some indigenous African languages. You go learn Chinese, you, you learn the Spanish, the goddamn Spanish, the goddamn Mexicans trying to kill our ass. What you think their agenda is for this land? You think they see you and their agenda? They taking this shit over. You see how they, uh, you see, uh, I seen where, y'all see when them Is, uh, Is, 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 Israelis uh, landed on that ship? What was it, Turkish oh, ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, man, but they, they, they marching right here for that. They in America marching for what happened over there. They in America right now going to the to the US Embassy. They 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 speaking up for what happened to their Turkish brothers. Why we don't stand up for Africa? You know, I don't even hear no has it been one march? I know marching don't mean shit, but at least the people could say, yeah, they with us. You know what I'm saying? Have we had any march in DC for Darfur? Rwanda? Just gay pride day. Huh? <laughs> gay pride day. <laughs> man, shit, man. We, 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 we got to step this shit up, man. I can't tell you nothing. I can't, I can't keep coming in here giving lectures. That's right. Because it's going to be a portion of my life where I'm going to move on from this shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to save those of my own family yes. that need to make it. I'm, you're all my family. But, the, hey, the, t the clock is ticking. You understand what I'm saying? It was it was taken from Marcus Garvey. You know what I'm saying? He was the closest. He was the closest that that made that attempt. And we got to. It needs to be updated. But everybody needs to get that book, the philosophy and, and opinions of Marcus Garvey. That's right. That's right. It needs to be updated in many ways. Everything needs to be updated. When these crackers, you, you see the the president get up. He his, his chief of staff put a goddamn report in his hand every day, a different report. Because the situations might change. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing is concrete. When motherfuckers come talking about a book, they get the fuck out of my face. Because it could change. You cannot trap me in nothing. That's what a leader, a leader is supposed to be able to see a situation and make a goddamn decision right on the goddamn spot. Oh, let me run back to my Quran. Let me see what, let's see what I got say. Let's, let's run back to the Bible. Let's see what the Bible say. Your ass is going to die. You're going to die. Yeah. Waiting. It's in you already. The energy is in us. Right. Already. Bring it out. But the fear, the fear, the fear of the white man is in your heart. That's what I know. It's in everybody's heart. God damn it. He's a, he done done a job on our people. Okay? When, you can, when a cracker can show up in the darkness of night, tie your goddamn daddy to some horses and ride off in the darkness, and you can hear your father screaming, mm -hmm. and nobody coming to his aid. Mm -hmm. That shit went on for me. It just went on the other day. And what they're going to do, they're going to come down, and they're going to drop them dollars down. 
get the family some money, but the, 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 the shit that went in our minds and fear that they could continue to do this shit over and over and over and over and over and ain't nobody gonna do shit about it, we know that. That's why most niggas ain't gonna jump out there. Right. That's why. And I can see it, I can see, I can smell the fear. I can smell it. Mm. We got to get the fear to crack mm. up out of our heart. That's the only way we are gonna win. When the love of liberation is greater than the fear of the cracker, then you will start to do something. And so, how do we do that? That's when the brothers got to get out there. We got to start scrapping. We got to start scrapping. You know, we ain't got to get caught. I ain't tell you get caught. Man, get the fuck out, man. Snatch these crackers ass up off this goddamn street. You understand what I'm saying? Motherfucker out there walking around with a black woman, follow his ass. <laughs> Playing on it. So when his ass gets to one of them alleys, snatch his ass in there. And make her ass watch. Hmm. I know. You ain't ready for it. But you can look at the murders on the goddamn <laughs> 6 o'clock news every day. You ain't ready for that. You ain't using you, you, one little skinny ass cracker, and these are the same crackers we sm smacking up in school. They put a little heat on they. They get courageous. They get courageous when they get that heat on their side. You got to be prepared, man. If you got to do them, do his ass. Don't and don't intend on going into the goddamn jail. That's what my thing is. I'm not going. Flat the fuck out. And I told all my family, nigga, if they in here, I'm going to send y'all ass up out of here. But I'm not going to no crackers jail. I don't give a damn for nothing. Right. You understand me? Because I know what it is. The damn prison system is the goddamn slave boat. Yep. Yep. What the hell you think them crackers initiative was on that slave boat? To keep these niggas in the bowels of the ship so that they could not get free. And so that's what the prison is. the same situation. Nothing has changed. You think this cracker going to give you and me a fair chance? They're not going to give us no goddamn fair chance. Everything that we, we engaged in as far as economics has something to do with the cracker. So when, now his economy has fallen to the ground. Look at it. Detroit, man, it, 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 they, they suffocate in Detroit. They suffocate in Detroit. Detroit unemployment got to be somewhere around 60%. I ain't bullshit. It's, it's, it's around 60%. And, and they know what's going to happen. They know niggas ain't got, niggas going to take. <clears throat> Scared to take from the cracker, go go rob your own brother. Rob your own sister. That's the dilemma that we in. They, that, this is what they do. They cause this shit. What they do, they stop and then they come in, they get one crew all the dough. You see them niggas shine. And then the niggas over here that don't have, what they gonna do? We gonna stick these niggas. Causing the wars in the streets. You got to pull up out of it. That's the only way. I ain't, I ain't telling nobody don't. I, I got dreams just like you. I'm not talking about wait. A lot of people say, I can't. You know, maybe the next generation. No, fuck the next generation. This generation. Yeah. One generation is going to have to look this peck of wood in his eye. And we always put it on the next generation. Well, the next generation, no, nigga. The next generation ain't going to do no more than you if you don't train them. You got to train these young babies that the cracker is their enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Is their enemy. All this, we love everybody bullshit. <laughs> We love everybody. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? That don't even make no damn sense. We love everybody. And we the most hated people on the goddamn planet. Don't nobody love our ass. Right, right, they, they, right. they own all the... Do they give back to us? Do they give back to the communities? None at all. Nothing. Nothing. Do they get... No, no, no. Some of the programs for the kids. They don't kick down no dollars. Huh? Come down and get, you know, get a baby some jerseys, you know, so they can get out here and play ball. Start up a, 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 a basketball league. That's what we need to do. See, because like I was saying in Cincinnati, in Africa, that's where a lot of the revolutionary information is discussed. You see in Africa, like with Steve Biko, being a soccer player, that's where they talk. And then they get that camaraderie because they're working together. 
You understand what I'm saying? And they in shape. Our brothers and sisters in Africa, they walk. They get up and they do things. So when you see them come down, you know, and they ready to get it on, I know y'all see, when they, everybody's be thousands of them, they come running down there like, what's up? What's up? They in shape. Niggas ain't ready to run no way. Half of you walk straight to that damn front door, you're breathing hard. <laughs> and you know it's true. Yep. At least start uh, walking. Exercise means a whole lot. Because if your body is strong, then you get that. that then you know, like, nigga, what? I'm telling you, huh? You know what I'm saying? I'm living another day. As soon as we live, we come up out the basement, we come right on the street, we vigorous. Looking for shit to get into. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But if you weak, now go for the queens too. Y'all got to, you know, you ain't got to be muscular and shit. But I mean, be, you know, do your little, do your some push ups, walk, run. Ain't wrong, ain't nothing wrong with you picking up a weight. Ain't nothing wrong with you picking up a weight. Ain't, ain't got to be like them crackers where they, they taking all that down. They, they taking steroids too. You know what I'm saying? But you want to be strong because you're going to have to walk. You know, Harriet Tubman had to be strong. All that walking she was doing, yes, sir. and she was tossing, yes, sir. and she packed the 38. She packed the 38. So that lets you know you got to be Harriet Tubman of the day. And we lost a lot of knowledge. That queen was looking up in them stars. She was looking up in them stars, guiding her to these different places. So get your compass. Get your compass. You can get a little compass for like about five hours. Get you two, three of them. Because you're, you're going to have to go south. But now if you go south, in the Mexican, where you think you're going to run into Mexico? Where is you going? We got to figure out where we going. Map quest. A lot of y'all can use that shit right now. Pick places that you might have to go to and just go on the map quest again. Map quest in a whole lot of shit. You know, so you can, you know, have some type of a guideline on how to get the hell up out of here. Don't, be, don't get caught up in here, family. Don't get caught up in here. You can get the fuck up out of here if you want to. If you want to stay, you can stay. You understand what I'm saying? That's your decision. Okay? If you want these crackers to do what they've been doing to our babies, and they, we don't understand how ruthless they have been on our babies. That's why we sick. You know why? Because we know we're supposed to have stepped up and we have failed our babies. You know, like I said, I worked in a detention facility. You know, I went in thinking I was going to be a counselor. Ain't no goddamn counselors in no detention facility. Nigga, you just the next nigga that they want you, you know, to run up in there and try to wrestle with these young boys. I never done no shit like that. I went in there gangster, came out of that motherfucker gangster. In there drinking, bringing them books on Egypt and whatnot. They didn't like that. And I was up in there bossing up on them Pecklewoods, too. Get his ass. Turn my back. You hear them crap in there hollering. You know what I'm saying? I opened the goddamn door up and let him go in there and whoop his ass. Remember one time we had to put that cracker down? A little racist ass cracker. And see, he was a dope fan. When he got in there, he got savage because he couldn't get his dope. And we had to put his ass down one day. And they had him on the ground, and I kicked him in his goddamn face. <laughs> you know, say, Mr. Blood, he kicked me! He kicked me! You know, you can get, you know, you get fired for that. You know what I'm saying? He kicked me! You goddamn right I kicked you. You know what I'm saying? But, to see them in there like that, they 10, they 9, they can already did murders. You understand what I mean? Family didn't, didn't just forsake him. You know, and I was, you know, I was looking at them. Man, them, them babies' hearts is already broken. Shame on, on our people for letting that shit happen. And as soon as one went, I don't know if he went home or if they put him in another facility, it was a child coming in the very same day. One was leaving. They had that shit like clockwork. They knew when one was leaving, they was bringing another one in. It never stops. We got to stop that. We got to stop the We got to be fathers. But they ain't gonna let us be fathers. See? So the dilemma is always back on the cracker. Y'all don't wanna y'all don't wanna fuck that cracker up because too many of y'all got a white auntie. Mm. Mm. White grandma. Nigga, this is a war where ain't no 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 bloodline is gonna stop me from mowing your ass over if I have to. 
Mamas can be taken out of here. Daddies can be taken up out of here. Sons and daughters can be taken up out of here for this shit. Y'all ain't ready for that.